Hello friends, welcome to TechPax Research and Innovation Services. Today we are here to present you one of the prototype that we have designed for the industrial purpose. This particular prototype has been designed for the water treatment plant where pH based system is to be controlled. So we do have the overall application where through the pH meter we are sensing the pH value of the water and on basis of that there are four valves for water opening that will fed the water to the treatment section. The main requirement of the prototype was to uh, switch on and off the solenoid valves that how much water is to be fed to the treatment section. So that totally depends upon the pH value that we will get from the water. So the plant was working on the basis of if the pH value is within the range then a normal water will be fed to the treatment section. If the value will go uh, beyond or upper to the limited pH value then we need to control the valves in order to fed the water. So what exactly we have done let's talk about that. We do have the pH sensor basically the ester pH sensor which is PO650 mostly used in the industry to sense the pH value that show the value of the pH on their meter and gives us the output in the terms of the current. It gives the output of 4 mA to 20 mA that is uh, equal to 0 to 14 pH of the water. So the main purpose is to get these current values and then process them with the additional module that we have designed and accordingly further proceed with the things. So what we have done when this pH meter is giving us the current that current value is fed to the voltage converter that is designed by us which is further connected to the analog input of the microcontroller. So the controller that we are using into this prototype is ESP32 because our one of the feature is to connect it with the internet and through the internet of uh, things we can monitor and control the module from the remote location. Next to that we do have four relay modules you can see here this is a four relay card which is connected with the ESP32 which is further controlling these four solenoid valves. So in order to process it the flow is when the pH meter is sensing the uh, pH value of the water, this meter is calculating the pH value and also releasing a current. That current is fed to the voltage converter designed by us and that voltage value is sent to the ESP32. According to the controls that we have given into this controller's programming and the IoT programming, that is uh, controlling the four relay cards which are further connected to the four solenoid walls in order to decide that how much water is to be fed to the treatment plant. So in the IoT section, uh, we have developed two of the things. One is web based and another one is Android based through which if the person want to use it on their cell phone, they can use the Android phone to monitor and control the system. Else within the industry, uh, it can be done on the local systems or the PCs. So let's start with the demonstration part. So I'm going to switch it on. So you can see currently the pH sensor that is with us is currently in the electrode storage bottle that is having some liquid into it. You can see it, which is having a pH of around four point something. So let's switch it on when I'm switching it on. So you can see the asters pH meter is going to calculate the pH value of the liquid within that bottle and will show the pH value on the meter. But along with that, uh, it is giving us an output of current value that is 4 to 20 milliampere. It is not giving us the pH value, it is giving us the current because most of the industrial sensors are only giving us the current within a range of 4 to 20 milliampere, not exactly the value. Along with that, I'm going to show that how we have to operate this whole module. As ESP32 is there, we are connecting it with the internet through the Wi Fi. So, you can give the Wi-Fi credentials of your internet or you can also fed it through the phone. So I'm going to make the hotspot of my phone so that this ESP can get connected. So let's see if the ESP is connected or not. So I'm going to the section connections and then in the hotspot and in the mobile hotspot. Here you can see this ESP32 is being connected at current time that is February 16, 121. So current date and time is February 16, 1, 2021. So the device is connected now. So we are ready to proceed with the things. We do have this app with us in which we just need to click it on. When we are switching it on, I just need to change the mode as it is currently in the dark mode. So you can see 
currently this is the app that we have designed it is having the current ph value that we are getting from this microcontroller so whatever the current value we are getting at the uh, sensor we are calibrating it within the uh, esp programming and sending it to the server through the iot so current v ph value is there uh, you can see there is very minor fluctuation among the ph meters value and the current ph value so that is calibrated as per the values we are receiving for the current you can see the current ph value if there is any variation the live the real time ph values of the systems can be seen here so next to that we do have two modules one is automatic control manual control so one of the additional feature was in order to reduce the labor cost they want to uh, control the system in the manual as well as in the automatic mode so we have given two of the section one is automatic another one is manual in the manual section when we are going to the manual section you can see all the four relays can be switched on or off so as currently all the switched are off so no device is on so you can see here all the four leds over the relay card are off so here these are the four leds that will show us that whether the solenoid valve is on or off so if i'm going to click on the app in order to on the relay number two that means the solenoid valve that is connected at relay number two is to be on so when i'm clicking on this within a fraction of seconds as per the speed of your internet as you can see it is also giving us notification currently the second led get glowed and now this valve is on so that will further transfer the water from the valve number 2 to the treatment section similarly if i'm going to on fourth one you can see the leds will get on so valve number second and valve number 4 is on so this is the manual control that the person can do at the remote location or within the industry totally depend upon whether you are working on the web based solution or android app based solution so if you want to switch it off let's see if i'm going to switch it off you can see only fourth is on and second is off now second thing is if we need to switch to the automatic mode so automatic mode is basically where you can set the range of the threshold values for the ph acceptable values and accordingly if the ph value is going to be increase or decrease it will decide that which valve is to be on and which is to be off so let's move to the automatic mode so when i'm clicking on the automatic mode you can see the interface is like that it will show us that this section will show us that which relay is currently on or off so when i just uh, shift it to the automatic mode the threshold values that we have set here for that we just need to click on the click to set threshold for the relays so when i'm clicking on this section you can see a uh, additional page is appear where you can set the minimum and maximum threshold for individual solenoid valve to get on or off right currently as the values for the four relays is minimum is 0 in all the four cases and maximum is uh, 1.2 1.8 2.4 and 5 as you can see the last one is 5 if i'm going to click on the save you can see the values will be updated data uploaded and as per the current value of the ph which is 4.44 or 4.63 as per the meter the fourth threshold value was 0 to 5 so the current ph value is within the within the range given in the threshold section so the fourth relay is to be on so you can see here the fourth relay gets switched on and even you are able to see the status of the relay here you can see the relay number 4 is on so this is the automatic mode that how you can set the threshold values i'm also going to demonstrate you if we are going to put that ph value in a liquid then it will change the ph value and accordingly you can get the real time stats as well as as per the threshold the relays get switched on so we are going to uh, use the normal water with us in order to calculate the ph value so before uh, adding that sensor to the liquid i'm just going to set the ph range let's say i'm going to set the second relay's value here to the 8 ph right and then going to change the threshold for fourth to the 2 ph done and then value save so you can only add the numerical values here 
and the pH value that the meter will give us will be from 0 to 14 pH which is a standard range of the pH value. So when I'm going to save as current pH value is 4.63 or 4. Point, uh, the value whatever is here on the current pH value. So the second delay is to be get on and here I'm going to set it to 5 done save. So as per the current state of the pH value, you can see uh, the second and the fourth is to be get switched on. So even you can see on the hardware, the second and the fourth is on and even the status on the app is also on for two and fourth. Now we are going to place the liquid. So that demonstrate that the storage tank where the water is there, whose treatment is to be done. So I'm just taking out the pH meter from the liquid water and placing it within the glass of water. So currently you can see uh, the value for the pH on the meter is 7.52 and uh, many minor fluctuation in the value. So you can see the current value we are getting is here. So the threshold that we have set was for the two relays, relay number second and relay number fourth. So when the pH value was 4 point something, both the relays were on. But right now as the value of the pH get changed, now as per the condition that we have given so automatically only second relay is to be get on right so you can see here the status for the relay number second is on rest all the three relays are off even on the hardware you can see only second of the led is on that represents that second relay is working so accordingly the user can automatically set the range of the ph value acceptable so that it can send the acceptable limit of the water to the treatment plant so the same solution has been designed for the web based solution also. Let's have a look to that also. So here you can see I'm going to open a browser and here I'm going to open our website. So you can see currently whatever the things we were able to see on the Android app, it is quite similar on our web solution also. So both are working parallelly, even the stats for which devices on or off you can see so as per the limits that we have already set you can see the device number two is on so here the device number two is on so i'm going to demonstrate you that how we can control the same thing through the web portal also so i'm moving to the manual mode so you can see as i switched from automatic mode to the manual mode all the four devices are to be switched off so you can see on the hardware that all the four devices are off right now so here it is off so I can control it. I'm just going to switch on the device number one. Status updated. So you can see on the hardware, the first relay module get switched on. So you can see whatever the solution was there with the Android app, the quite similar things can be done within the industry on the local PCs or the laptops uh, without having any Android application. So you can run it on web as well as on the Android one. One more thing is uh, with us in order to see the records. Uh, here we have placed one button export log. Even you can see the same button over our app also so that you can get the 60 records which is updating the values in every five minutes. So you just need to click on the export button here. When you will click on the export button, you can see record.csv has been downloaded. So when I will open it, you can see it will open it in Excel and you will be able to see the records as per the date and time. So you can see today it's 16 and the time is already with us. So here the serial number, pH value and the timestamp with date and time mentioned over it is here. The total values here we received are 16 count. So this is how you can see the records. It is customized. So the currently the value has been set to 60. So it can be changed later on also. So modifications are still possible and overall solution by using the different technologies like IoT, Android apps, web based solution and embedded systems has been used to design a full water treatment plant system. So thanks. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, for any query, you can contact us directly. Thank you.